Intense, a trip report. I know there's no way I can convince you this is not one of their tricks. But I don't care. I am me. HB Wood Rose and Cannabis Dose, 5 to 7 seeds oral age. B Wood Rose, Extract, 5 to 6 hits smoked cannabis. Body weight, 160 pounds. Intense and powerful spiritual experience. I took 7 Hawaiian baby wood rose seeds with two other people, first crushing the seeds without scraping or burning them and then letting the crushed seeds soak in flavored water overnight. I drank about 3 quarters of the bottle without filtering out the seed debris. The guys made ginger tea to deal with common nausea, and I smoked weed. Not a lot, about 5 or 6 puffs of a joint over the course of the evening. The guys put on 2001, The Space Odyssey to watch. I had never seen this movie in its entirety before, and I can guess that it was probably why I experienced what I did. Smoking made the effects more pronounced in me than in the guys. Smoking made the effects more pronounced in me than in the guys. For the first part of the movie, I was flying. I was very happy, happier than I had ever been before. Every emotion was ridiculously intense but in a good way. When the movie got around to the last part, I was in outer space. I was watching a universe being born. I was connected to everything on a base level, and I felt multiple truths about the universe being revealed to me like I was uncovering them within myself. What will it be? The universe is its own being, and it cares less for our actions than we do for the shedding of our skin cells. This wasn't depressing at all. It was humbling and made me realize my vast insignificance in the grand scheme. It was the idea that no matter what happens, the universe will continue on without me, it was there at our birth and will be there at our end. It was the notion that everything is perfect as is on a massive scale and that only we as individuals are imperfect. When the movie finally ended, I was on fire inside. I was aware of a burning ball of energy lighting me from the inside, my essence. I wanted to go for a walk, something we had talked about since we had ingested the seeds. I wanted to see the world through these new eyes. I hadn't felt much nausea at all yet, but when the elevator started heading down, it started to hit me hard. One second I was leaning against the wall of the elevator, thinking about how I would have to throw up in the bushes to feel better, and the next moment is, the guys I was with calling my name and helping me into a sitting position. Blackout. The scariest part of the blackout was that I came with a solid sense of something having happened to me spiritually while I was out. I felt like millennia had passed, like I had lived lifetimes and forgotten. My first thought was, I didn't think I would be back here. It felt like I had been traveling universes and dimensions and was suddenly pulled back through it all to my own without warning. Like I had gone away and accepted the fact of my never returning. It was terrifying and heartbreaking because if it wasn't a dream, or even if it was, I don't remember anything, all I had was a relief and, the opposite of homesickness? At being back. My thoughts immediately garbled, alternating between trying to remember what happened, remembering where I was, trying not to be sick, and my family and friends. The guys brought me back up to the apartment, where we all sat down right where we had been. If they hadn't continued to talk about my blackout, I would have thought I dreamed the entire thing, leaving in everything. I became very paranoid and scared, suddenly worrying that I might die in my sleep. I was regretting the seeds simply because I realized that every time I do drugs, I am putting my body at risk, and I felt guilty for doing that to the people who love me. I tried to talk it through with the guys, and remembered reading that many people felt better all around after throwing up since it became a physical and a spiritual purge. I forced myself to throw up, and just like that, I suddenly felt much better. We put on another movie, Maximum Overdrive, and after a little while, I laid down and slept some on the couch. I came awake thinking I could still hear the guys talking in the movie play. But when I opened my eyes in reality, they had gone to bed. I called the cab and had one of the guys ride the elevator down with me. I forced myself to puke again when home, then took some Pepto-Bismol and fell asleep around midnight. The next day I had a headache from where I hit my head on the floor during the blackout and was still nauseous. 
I had to force myself to eat because I had almost no nutrients, and by the end of the day, I felt a lot better and had my appetite back. God I hope that whoever you are, you escape this place. I hope that the world turns and that things get better. But what I hope most of all is that you understand what I mean when I tell you that even though I do not know you, and even though I may never meet you, laugh with you, cry with you, or kiss you. I love you. With all my heart, I love you.